mounting allegations of inhumane treatment, bribery, physical and sexual abuse and victimization in relation to the Special Police Immigration and Customs Enforcement Unit, SPICE, is what caused parts of its operations to be suspended by the Deputy Commissioner of Police until further notice as of yesterday. Media houses were informed yesterday that the tax force has been at the height of complaints in recent months, and those criticisms have been brought to the attention of the Governor, His Excellency Gordon Weatherill, the Director of Immigration, and the TCI Human Rights Commissioner, Doreen Quelch Stubbs. Assistant Commissioner of Crime Rodney Adams today revealed that special investigators will be assigned to conduct a review of the SPICE unit. Since then, News 4 Investigations has discovered that Human Rights Commissioner Doreen Quelch Stubbs will be meeting with the SPICE unit in the coming days to address recent complaints and allegations lodged against the department and address issues of the fundamental human rights and freedoms of a person. News 4 also understands that the meeting will seek to address SPICE's responsibility to ensure that people are treated with dignity and eliminating all forms of racial discrimination in the department. A review of SPICE standard operation procedures and a suspension of SPICE operations have been enforced except those in relation to sloop landings and irregular migrants in the bushes. Just last week, two reports of abuse and victimization were made public when the Sun newspaper editor-in-chief Hayden Boyce lashed out at the department, claiming that they targeted his business and harassed one of his employees. But his report was not the only one. Yesterday, TCI native Ariel Johnson made her television appearance on WIV4 News to complain about her run-in with the officers sometime in October of 2008. Johnson claimed she was inaccurately stereotyped, arrested and beaten by Spice officials. Her case is in the Supreme Court. He gave me an attitude and I gave him back an attitude and after he reversed back and asked me to show him my immigration status, my work permit. And I tell him, say, I don't use work permit. I born here and I don't see the reason why I should walk with my immigration status. Then after he said that I should jump in the van and show and prove my immigration status. And I told him that I am not an immigrant, so I'm not driving in the van. While I about to go, Officer Desiree Forbes still hold my wrecks. And after I turn, after she tried to choke me with her elbow, then I turn around and I bite her on her left chest. Then they put me in the bus, in the bus with a struggle. Then when I was inside the bus, Officer Sherry said to me that, you all stink Haitian stink because you all come in Provo and you all have your immigration status and you all think you all could behave in any kind of way. So I tell her said that I'm not a Haitian. I born here, and she best don't disrespect my parents' nationality. After all of that conflict inside the van, they came by the immigration. And News 4 received a letter from another concerned individual who explained how Spice raided a hotel establishment in the Grace Bay area, arresting four people on the job site. News 4 will have more on the investigations in relation to SPICE as it develops. For WIV4 News, I'm Angie Saint.